Guys, welcome back. Uh, we finished the cool route last time. Well, almost finished it. We need to return Aether to the base, to Gaia. So we're going to head back over there and do that. And then I think I want to... Well, we'll pick up these quests while we're here, probably. And then I think I want to go back and... I got confused between these two quests over here a couple episodes ago. So I'm pretty sure this cave... There's a cave over here that I was looking for. Um, with Jax, the guy that was like bugging out and uh, not being where he was supposed to. So I think if we have time, we'll go do that. Maybe we'll be able to finish it this episode, but it might run into another one. Um, so, but let's go return Aether to the base. Aether to the base first. Are any of these challengers worthy of the, the title? Final battle with Regala is nigh. And let's talk to Decca. Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them, then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Cavo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaro cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Cavo is the last of my blood. What made Cavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. And as for Cavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. You said Kavo's your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Cavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. All right, Decca, we'll help you out with that. Probably, maybe next episode. But uh, we got to return a super intelligence to another super intelligence first. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit. Your grandson's gonna have to wait a little bit. The tribe is at Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. 
Just tell it to her straight, Dekka. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaru won't <laughs> let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cool route. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. When you're done, bring the parts to me at the maw of the arena, on the northeast side of the grove. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing, if you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tags. I don't have anything to pay you with here. Bring them to me at the Maw of the Arena when you can. Thank you, Champion. And please don't forget the parts for the Ballista. The Maw of the Arena. I don't know about you guys, but the yes, Arena is... To find that Let me double check. I'm on very hard. I have to double check that because I have to like... I like with the uh, tasks on me. Elements video. You know, I have to drop the difficulty to test things sometimes, so... Just gotta make sure I'm on very hard. But the arena, I don't know about you guys, the arena is tough on very hard. Like, I, I just don't feel like it's balanced. Um, I finished it on my main save file, but I have to admit, like, I had to drop it to hard for some of the challenges. I just couldn't get them done under the time limit. I'll definitely go back at some point and try and get on the leaderboards on very hard. Get a reasonable result, but they're just so tough. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. <laughs> Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! <laughs> Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along.
Uh, oh, uh, okay. The old ones created so many wonderful inventions to help others, to help the planet. Technology really can be an amazing Oops. thing. Didn't mean to drink a potion there. Gets a mind of its own and, uh, I think, uh, everyone. I think that data point that Aaron was listening to is from Deep Din in Zero Dawn. It's like the death metal band, the two girls that are down in that like pipes area of the frozen wilds when you first get up there by the dam. It's in a data point in there, Welcome I think. Back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. All right. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code, a distress signal, a desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection, or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. I don't know why the, uh... Subtitles got a background on them. We'll just keep going with it. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So, maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay. And what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. Alright, I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Hmm? Of course it could be a trap. 
But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Oh, the background's gone. All right, Mom, fine. We'll take them with us. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're done in here. Some You guys... Puzzle was telling me you could just fall through the earth here. Fall through the map. It's never happened to me. I'm curious if anybody else has had that happen. Skill points. We leveled up. Nice. I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. Yeah, I'll check it out when I can. Which room got unlocked? This one? Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Sweet. Aloy, Let's go talk to we've Kala. gathered some supplies in that chest. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. I see. Ooh. I'm gonna get out of here before I get something. Ah. <laughs> Looks like this room's changed. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. Uh... I don't want to go through go. all these right now. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Door's always open here. I will. I overheard that Varl and Erend are to accompany you on a mission. Do you require my assistance? I'd rather have you and Zoe guard the base while we're away. It shall be done. May the Ten walk with you. Now that, that was another one of those subordinate functions. Yeah, that one was called Hades. Okay, I don't want to do that quest right now. What is that one called? Cradle... Of echoes, yeah. Let's see if so has anything to say here. Varl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. Hmm. There's a... I was hoping you could tell me more about... There's a quest the we can get from her at some point, but for maybe we can't get it yet. For generations they provided for us. Seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all. A miracle of endless bounty. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. Until... the derangement. They had always enriched the soil, but... for several seasons they have glutted it endlessly with mulch. At least now I know why. The... Repair Bay, below, was meant to renew them. Without it, they became sick. That is why I must find a way to heal them before my people starve. Yeah, I think... 
I feel like that's the text point that we need to start the quest, but it's not letting us yet, I guess. Right. I should probably go. Is it true you're investigating a signal coming from one of Gaia's seedlings? Maybe. <laughs> we'll know for Her sure seedlings. when we check it out. Be careful. We will. Okay. Let's go to Stone's Echo. Oh, they're not going to let me fast travel from in here. Oh, are they going to force us to do that quest right now? Hang on. Let's try to go outside. Gotta go after Aluthia. Oh. Aaron and Floral are waiting for me at the west exit. Yeah, it'll be nice to stretch Okay, my legs. I guess we're doing this, guys. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? I need a little more time. Okay. Let us know when you're ready. Well, let us sleep now. Well, I don't think so. Unbelievable. Huh. That door is unlocked now. All right, so let me get this straight. The what do you say? Should we get going? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. <laughs> uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? <sighs> Takes the keg. Floral, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought I'm catching one of them. snowflakes on my lap. Almost didn't make it. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger there, and we're going to end that part, and I will see you in the next one. We'll pick this up then. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.